Hi, I'm Eric Coons with Bruno, and I'd like to introduce you to Safe Helm 2. Safe Helm 2 is a brand new sensor that we're introducing for our NavPilot 300 and NavPilot 700 and 711C autopilot systems that allows you to uh, take control of the boat just by grabbing the helm when you're in either nav or auto mode. If you're not familiar with Safe Helm, it's been around for a while, but it doesn't just provide that kind of capability where you don't have to fight the autopilot. It also provides Furuno FPS, which is power assist steering. And the great thing about that is that if you have an older vessel and the customer, uh, you know, have it's a manual steering system, kind of a, a lot of work to turn the wheel and it, you want to improve that without spending a lot of money, you can install a nav pilot system and add the safe helm module and provide Furuno this power assist capability where the helm itself doesn't change in terms of how hard it is, but you get a lot more motion of the rudder. In other words, what happens on reversing uh, on, on reversing pump vessels when you install the autopilot, if you start turning the wheel and you turn on, you enable the uh, Furuno power assist steering, as you turn the wheel, will enable the uh, reversing pump to, in the same direction that you're turning the wheel. So you'll get basically 50% or more rudder movement for the same helm effort. Really nice feature. Uh, it's implemented with our existing FPS, uh, FPS 8 option on AccuSteer pumps, but we wanted to make it better. So what we did, we went back to the drawing board and we created the, FP, the uh, Safe Helm 2 sensor. Safe Helm 2 looks like this. It's a, a, if you want to take a closer look, in fact, it's a uh, helm flow switch sensor that um, has two switches in it. So it can sense when oil is flowing in one direction or the other direction. And as you turn the wheel, you put it in line with either the port or the starboard steering lines of the helm, of the helm on either single or dual or even triple helm vessels, you can install this system, uh, the Safe Helm 2 sensor. And when you grab the wheel and turn it, it will automatically sense that, that helm fluid motion and enable either Safe Helm or FPS or both. It's really pretty nice. So the great thing about this system is that uh, you may be familiar with uh, one of our competitors who has a similar kind of helm flow switch, but it's kind of limited. Um, you have to mount it perfectly horizontally as per this sticker and uh, this and if you end up mounting it uh, vertically it just doesn't work right or if you have it off a little bit it doesn't work right and you have to mount it with hoses uh, to the system uh, with safe helm 2 uh, we've gone beyond that it's not position sensitive so you can mount it vertically or on an angle and don't have to worry about uh, false triggering or anything like that. Even if there is uh, some sensitivity adjustments, we have sensitivity adjustment in the software of the existing NavPilot uh, 300 and 700 and 711C so you can adjust when you want the system to trigger in the Safe Helm or FPS. It's really pretty cool. And the nice thing about this is that um, we designed it and, uh, and allowed it to work with a lot of different boat sizes. So one of the great things is that it doesn't just come with um, uh, smaller quarter inch ports like on our competitors product but when we ship it to you we provide these adapters that are designed to uh, attach right to it for 3 8 plumbing so if you have a bigger boat that's got 3 8 um, um, plumbing on the helm you can install it with these 3 8 NPT adapter fittings that are already provided but we didn't want to stop there we wanted to provide like a one-stop shop so included with the Safe Helm 2 sensor are these smaller quarter inch adapter fittings. So when you install these two adapter fittings, really pretty simple, just like I'm doing it right now. Now you have basically the same thing as our competitor. We have quarter inch female, quarter inch female. No problem, you can switch it on the fly just like I did, tighten them up. By the way, this side of the adapter fitting is an ORB number eight fitting. And it's an O-ring fitting. ORB means O-ring boss. And when you see an O-ring on an adapter fitting or anywhere in a hydraulic system, you should automatically know that you did never use um, sealant or any kind of thread sealant or Teflon tape on an O-ring boss fitting or 
for example, an ORFS as well. You just don't use sealing. You let the O-ring do the seal. And that's the way these are designed. So once you screw this on there, now you have basically the same thing as uh, what our competitor provides, but we wanted to make it even easier. So we included some other adapter fittings as well. For example, um, instead of two uh, female fittings, we also provide a male quarter inch NPT fitting. And this is really cool because now it's gender matched. Safe Helm 2 can be gender matched. So when you install this, you may just have to disconnect one hose, install this system, and install the hose back right into the other side of the, of the, of the Safe Helm 2 sensor, and you've just installed the whole system. You don't need any other hoses or adapters. So it's really nice in that sense, and it's a done job. You, know, you basically can provide all the uh, fittings you need uh, to your installer or to a customer to allow them to install without buying anything else. And then we took it a step further. So we know that there's a lot of other kinds of fittings on these on, on t vessels in the U.S. Uh, for example, Mercury Verado uses what are called ORFS, which are O-ring face seal fittings. So in addition to these um, these ORB fittings and the NPT fittings, we're also including an NPT to ORF, ORFS adapter. So what I can do is just reach into the kit that we provide and add these two fittings. And now you have an ORFS solution that's also gender matched. So you can disconnect one hose, install this, and, and tighten up everything, and you have a gender match fitting. Or if you have two, for example, two uh, hoses going to an existing sensor, you can uh, use male to male as well. So you can also install like this both with ORFS male, ORFS male. So a lot of different ways, a lot of different configurations that you can provide with the existing kit of components that comes with this Safe Helm 2 sensor. Safe Helm 2 is in stock. It will be released in early 2021. Um, it's uh, going to have a list price of a less than $500, probably about $450 or so. So you're going to get all these components, uh, you can install it easily. It's not position sensitive. It provides no drag on the helm uh, and it works with any reversing pump. So if you go out to survey a vessel, you see an existing autopilot system from another manufacturer that's got maybe an 80 series pump or a 160 series pump and you want to install a Furuno nav pilot system. Nap pilots will drive those pumps perfectly. There's no issues at all. You can you can connect those reversing pumps right to the uh, right to the output of the nav pilot 300 or 711 or 711C system, 700 or 711C system without any trouble. And you can also install the new Safe Helm 2 sensor on those vessels. Really easy to use. Much, much simpler. Even if you have an existing FPS-8 that the customer feels a little bit of drag and he wants to update the system, you can remove an FPS-8, add some adapter fittings, and install the Safe Helm 2 sensor on an existing AccuSteer or any Octopus pump as well. So just something to be aware of. Really cool, really nice way to give your customer a new feature or take advantage of this new feature to give him both power steering and safe helm functionality with Safe Helm 2. For more information, go to FarunaUSA.com.